Welcome back to Questing Show, a play podcast where each week a new adventurer steps up to fix a broken kingdom. Ladies, gentlemen, MBs, we've made it. This is the final episode of Season 2 of Quest in Show. Not the finale of Quest in Show forever, don't worry about that. We are planning to come back in the new year with a new season, but... I mean, I suppose we have to as well, considering how things are currently standing in Trottlera, but... For now, we're going to be taking a small break so people will be able to recoup and, you know, figure out what to do next. But we're not going out on a damp note because we have a very special episode. Not that special because we did technically do this a couple of episodes prior, but I would think probably even more special in the fact that it's one returning guest and one brand new guest joining us. So, rather than leaving him in the dark, uh, who wants to go? Who wants to introduce themselves first? Well, you said dark, so yeah, I'm gonna just, do that. Just, so I'm gonna do that. All right. Hello, it's me, Dark Fry, the hole in your donut. Uh, <laughs> That's, a, <laughs> nice. That's a way to describe yourself. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I just have sweets in the in on the brain today. Um, I. I'm a returning boy. I have been on this before. <laughs> a returning boy. And yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I make uh, I make videos on YouTube. If you like pink iridescent blobs, then you're in luck because I am one of those. Faint. And so. uh, and yeah, you'll like the things I do. Uh, just in general. Uh, and Dark, it's, um, <laughs> we, we hear enough a voice. Um, who who else is joining? Who who are you of a person that is joining Dark? Uh, that that would be me. I, I think that's me. Yeah, I, I, I'm Zorty Boy, by the way. Uh, I'm a I'm a, a retired video essayist, so to say. Um, uh, I I made video essay essays once. Such a badass but, title. But uh, I stopped because now I, I write jokes for Dark <laughs> Fry. Uh, the joke you just heard about the donut and the hole, that, that's, that's me. Uh, that was I a paid, that. That, that's a paid joke, is it? That, that yeah, he's, yeah. He's yeah. got you on the retainer. That, yeah, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah, he sent, he sent it to me earlier and I was like, I'm going to use that. <laughs> let's, yeah. yeah, let's punch <laughs> it up a little bit. Let's workshop it. Now that's pretty good. Let's uh, roll with that. Um, Weird question, but um, apart from obviously your YouTube backgrounds, do you two like... Do you two like come as a package? Is there like something that perhaps together you work on that people at home may know or you want them to know about? I, I could. I I'd rather think... die than be associated with Zoltan. I, I couldn't think wow. of anything. No, uh, I, I don't think there is. I am anything. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am kidding. Okay, so get this, y'all. Uh, we have a podcast called Video Gems. What? Uh, where. Yes, a podcast very much similar to what you're listening to right now. Wow. Um, except instead of being it being a play podcast, it's just a random bullshittery podcast <laughs> where we just bring guests on and we talk to them and we have fun. Uh, one of those guests being um, our boy Hot Cider himself. Wow, who's Hot who Cider? I on. haven't heard of him. Uh, just to some jackass. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why would you interview so, him if that's the case? Uh, you know, uh, sometimes if you just let people talk, you'll watch them hang the noose around them <laughs> or, whatever, or whatever. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it's great and you should check it out, but not now, cause now you're listening to question show. That'd be fucked up. Yeah. Uh, that'd be hard to like <laughs> focus on two podcasts at the same time, especially this one, which requires like. A bit of the theatre of the mind, because it is a fantasy podcast. That being said, Video Gems may also be a fantasy podcast, because it's the fantasy of good videos on YouTube. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let them take you away on a magical journey of entertainment and education. 
Yeah. Oh, I thought you were implying that good videos on YouTube yeah, don't exist. Same, oh, same. oh, is that what you call <laughs> that statement? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's that that's what I got out of wow. that. Um, and 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 honestly, ag I agree. Like, wow. See, I was going to clarify. I was going to clarify my statement. But no, let's just, just get just just leave. Just putting it out just there. Just leave it there. This I is think. all bullshit. This is all bullshit. It's not good. What the fuck are we doing? I will say though. Um, obviously, you don't have to tell me this if I'm uh, stepping on your grounds or anything. Um. What's some? Uh, what's a good YouTube video that you've that the both of you have recently seen? I suppose you don't have to. You could have your own separate answers because I don't imagine you watch stuff together. Like, uh, yeah. we actually watched one video together. Oh, did you? Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was for research. Which one was it, Doc? Do you remember? Uh, it was uh, transparencies on playable games. Oh yeah, that's videos. right. That's right. Ah. So I don't know if you have seen it, uh, James, it's, but I think I. It's it's about it's mainly about Dosh and the Giant. Oh, I haven't seen it. Uh, it's like a GameCube game, and uh, you're like uh, you're just uh, controlling this giant that can destroy um, cities. And it's a very simple game, and also not like any other game, I would say. Yeah. And Transparency talked about how it is kind of important uh, okay. for the art form games it's anyway this isn't but yeah but this isn't video gems let's not talk about this video gems <laughs> this isn't this isn't this isn't about the video we watched together i guess but you know it's always <laughs> nice to know where you know kind of guests are coming from and what i will ask as well is is that dark obviously i asked you when you came on this podcast six or what i think even longer ago than that months ago about uh what your tabletop experience is and i'm kind of wondering whether that's changed in that time but also Jolte, you're new to the podcast so what's your previous tabletop game experience if any um uh, yeah I, i've played dungeon and dragons mm. um i uh, like five times i would say with the, with the same dm and same same pe same pl uh same players every time so okay. I have some experience, but not much. I liked it a lot. I enjoyed yeah. it, like, every second of it. I, I had such a good DM, uh, and it was my brother. <laughs> oh, but nice. It was a, it was a, we had a good time. It was fun. Cool. Uh, I'm, uh, Dark, has your, uh, have, you, have you gained any more tabletop experience since uh, Quest and Show? Well, um, since Quest and Show... And also before Quest and Show, oh. there there was a thing going on in the world. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a pandemic going oh, on. Oh, yes. No, famously and, so. Yeah, that's a fair point. And, and um, the, the only... You remember when I told you that the, that the tabletop gaming scene in Cyprus is tiny? Yes. So the one local shop in Cyprus that sells tabletop gaming um, stuff and did and does e tabletop events, mm. there's only one of those in my entire, in the entire region I live in. Okay. Uh, and from what I, from what I know, there aren't any... There might be like one more in like in like Larnaca or something, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. So the one shop that did that doesn't anymore. Oh no, because it's like closed yeah. during the pandemic. Oh. That... Uh, no, it's still open, but it doesn't do events anymore. Oh, oh. Well, that's even sadder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I was. They were gonna. Like, I went recently and I asked them because I gave them my phone number to be like, hey, when you have a spot open in your Dungeons and Dragons not gaming nights, call me and I want to and I want to be the player to fill that spot. You know, that's how because they have dedicated campaigns and with particular slots, I guess. Sure. Uh, so it was like when one fills up, I want to know so that I can come and play. Uh, but it. They never called me, so I went and was like, "Yo, what's up?" And they were like, "Yeah, we don't do it anymore." Oh, oh. shit! And it's and it's and it's uh, a bummer. Yeah. And uh, and that because of that and because of the pandemic, I haven't gotten around to playing with my friends yet. So I haven't really played a bunch more uh, 
tabletop since since last film in question show. Oh. Do you want me to brighten up your day a little bit though, Dark? What? You're playing with your friends now. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is why this is why I'm so excited right now. Yeah, cool. So after we had that, uh, yeah, very. Uh, I, I was going to say, is it worth doxing who this business is so we can try and get them to reopen, to um, start doing it again over Twitter? But no, we're not using, that's not what the podcast is used for. That's badness. I wouldn't use my podcast for such dark powers. That being said, if you would like to do so on video gems, that's a potential angle. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> that could be even a I'm I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, no you could use it that. to. I, I, I think you could use it to. Dox. Wait, is that what? Is that shop even on Twitter? Mm. Let me check. Good question. You could use the podcast to dox Salty into making videos again because Salty does make good vids. So <laughs> thank just you. Saying. Thank you very much. No uh, I don't know. Just I mean, probably I, I will make a. It's not like it was uh it was my last video and I'm not creating anything anymore because oh, I, I do not. make I do make videos. It's just yeah, he's video busy with essays. he's busy with video gems. Yeah, yeah, yeah and the podcast like, that is uh that that is I that is a legitimate art, that it is as much yeah, of a legitimate tech. art form as any YouTube video, which is why if say somebody did maybe YouTube videos but also had a podcast, both of them should go on exactly the same YouTube page. Not talking about yeah. anyone in particular. <laughs> I'm just saying. And also, uh, I will I will make a video for for AMR. Oh so, yes. So uh, that would be a video essay of of some kind. <laughs> that's true. Which by the yeah. time this video goes out, AMR won't actually still be a thing yet. So that's exciting news. Ah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah, it'll be like a month from release. Very true. Or so. So yeah. please look forward to that in the audience, everybody. Yeah. But I feel like we're talking about a lot of things that aren't Trottle era, which of course that's why the people are here at home. Yeah. That being said, as is always usually the case with some of these episodes, there may be people joining us who are doing so because they're a big fan of the Video Gems podcast, and they've seen that the two of you are on here, and they've said... What's this quest in show thing that they're on? Well, how does it work? You know, all that sort of stuff. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to uh, walk you through it now. Uh, hey. I don't believe fans of Video Gems exist, so you can just... Uh, <laughs> we can just skip <laughs> nah, that part. Just skip it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. It go <laughs> Keep going. Right. So before we came up, uh, before the episode started, I asked Salty and Darfry to come up with the characters who will be tasked with solving this episode's issue at hand. And basically, over the course of the adventure, I'll describe setting characters and situations, and it'll be up to these two to basically tell me how they'd like to proceed with their actions. And most of the time, these actions won't be challenged. However, there may be opportunities where they'll want to take the advantage, say, get a drop on somebody or parlay for a better deal times where they'll have to defend themselves, either through a little bluffing or combat, and during these occasions they'll be asked to roll two six-sided dice. But that's not all, because for each small advantage they may have going into a situation, such as their gear or their special abilities, they add one onto the final result. But on the inverse, these things may be a disadvantage, and we remove numbers from the final result depending on the situation. Simply, high numbers lead to great results. Dark, don't answer this, because you know what the answer is. Zolty, what do you think happens on a low number? On a, on a low number? What happens when you roll a low number in Quest and Show? Oh, what do you yeah. think um, will happen? I think, I, think uh, I will get hurt. I think mm -hmm. I, will, I would not manage to do something I decided to do. Like, uh, I don't know, in D&D it's called like, investigation. Sure. Uh, to investigate uh, for clues or something uh and yeah and if, if i roll something that it's that is low um it will not happen <laughs> what i want to do i guess is that Doc, right do you want to tell him if that's the correct answer <laughs> salty um uh to put it bluntly bad shit happens <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah. That's good. I can't believe you went all you went to all that tirade <laughs> when, <laughs> when 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 
you just you you just bad shit happens. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I'm gonna I say to you, Zolsi? Though you're the first person this entire season who has actually given me a very kind of like. Like, you've given me the correct <laughs> answer, and you've also given me, like, a very in-depth answer for that, <laughs> sir. I'm sorry, I, I thought I'd just... Oh, no, 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 I thought this was my time Which means shine, you're wrong. You know? No, absolutely. <laughs> no, if anything, I would say big respects for that. No, I uh, I very much appreciate it, as do the people at home. Which, by the way, if you want to know more about the system and maybe play it yourself, it is linked in the description below. Now, boys, have you got dice? Yep. I do. Doc, would you like to roll first to see, perhaps, you know, to set the tone for perhaps what might happen to oh, your character? Oh, shit. <laughs> um, so, should I... Okay, I'm gonna roll the dice. Bad. All right, that is a five and a three. That's an eight. So that is a nice mixed yeah. success. Zolti, okay. could you do likewise? Sure. I already like this, uh... uh how we roll because I can't roll a, a zero, so that's good. This is how we roll. You don't even roll a one, which is pretty good. Four and three, which is Four a seven. Four and three, so that is a seven then. So you both eat got... shit, Zolti. <laughs> <laughs> so you both got a mixed success. Uh, Doc got a slightly nicer mixed success, but basically that's kind of indicative of how quest and show usually goes, which is you may get what you want, but it's going to come at an unforeseen cost or complication what they look like i mean obviously we're gonna have to play to find out but what i will ask is before we start are there any what is there anything you would like to say before we get into the adventure proper um zolti you first <laughs> not, sure, not sure not sure uh like do we present our characters or Oh yeah, don't don't worry about that. That will ha that okay. that will be then happening. I don't think I have anything to say. Excellent. Cool. Dark. Uh, <laughs> my my thing to say is that I am very excited for this because, as I've said earlier, I don't get really get to do this often, mm. and I'm very and I'm very happy to uh, be here and be playing this this awesome game with these. Uh, with um, these awesome people and Zolti. Yeah, thank you for the invitation. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for the nice words, Dark. Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I was Thanks. appreciate them, Dark. Uh, so, before we start, I also have to warn you two, because even though this is the last episode of Season 2 of Quest and Show, that doesn't mean that the decisions that you make aren't going to have enormous ramifications on perhaps what comes next. Much like every decision from episode one of this season all the way through have had, have basically led to what's going to happen to you two, to, well, what situation you're in today. So as always, do keep that in mind in your decision making. All right. I'm here to cause problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Just chaos, baby. Chaos, baby. Chaos. Let, let, we're gonna let chaos reign. The se the sequel to the boss baby. <laughs> <laughs> what the boss baby two? Chaos reigns. That'd be good. Yeah. And with that, let's head to the boss baby two. No. And with that, <laughs> let's go <laughs> once again to a land out of time and out Psych! of place. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> that was a time. As our scene begins with a vision of the kingdom of Trotlera. Well, boys, let me tell you, you are at the epicenter of the event of the decade. A wedding that has been months in the making. Between the ruler of Trotlera himself, King Pratt, and his bride-to-be, Susie Toblerone. King and Pratt? More like King Brat. Wow. Not <laughs> wow, already. Not, already. Even, not even in the episode yet, and shade is being <laughs> thrown. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> but, let me tell you... Zolti, Zolti didn't even hear what's, what Pratt sounds like yet. <laughs> 
That's true, actually. You don't know what Pratt is even like as a character. So oh, be... let, let me tell you. I know, okay? Uh, oh, oh, wow. All right. Um, and let me tell you, Come on, Zoltan, this event is everyone who's everyone is here. And I'm not just talking about kings and queens. I'm not just talking about nobles. No, I'm talking about celebrities are at this event. Who would want to miss this for the world? And two of these particular celebrities are going to be the focus of today's episode and this adventure. Question is, though, who do we focus on first? Because let's say there's maybe a herald of the event who's going around and they're interviewing people. And they're caught. They they catch the attention of these two particular characters. But which are they more likely going to want to speak to first? Oh, I, I think it's me. That, that would be me. Oh, I'm the right. face of our group, so... Right, well... Uh, Zossi, please introduce who is the character. Look at this bitch. Who is the character at this event? Who are you playing as? Uh, so my character is Zapiro. Uh, Zapiro. Uh, he's a he's a white cis male, um, <laughs> and <laughs> um, uh, he looks he looks uh, kind of kind of broken, but not in a physical way. It's, it's more oh, like, actually, it's it's physical and. And the psychological, I would say. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a it's a person that is just like very small and uh, weak. Understandable. And okay, tell us a little bit about them. What's their backstory? Oh, uh, okay. So he's he's uh, sort of rich because uh, he came from a rich family. And, of course. Uh, he likes to read read books. Um, but he, his family kind of neglect, neglected him and now he's kind of socially, his social skills, uh, stayed underdeveloped, uh, okay. because of, because of disinterested parents. And he has all this like wisdom, you know, from literature that he once read, but, of course. but it's like a kind of ignorant and uh, persuasive personality. So he's very intelligent. He's very book smart, but not very intelligent. Perhaps. Yes, no practical skills at all. Oh, Doesn't know boy. how to fight. He wears this body armor because uh, he thinks uh, he would look stronger if he wears it. But no, just uh, okay. nothing. <laughs> I think you've kind of um, touched upon a few of his like special skills and even his loadout. But what would you say his expertise is? Like something that separates him from the rest. Okay, so I would say, uh, as I said before, it's a persuasive personality. Mm -hmm. uh, he's kind of smart in a way, I would say. But sure. um, he's more like, he, he likes to talk people into things and uh, convince them of things. Sure. But at the end, he just wants to profit off of others. Got you. And... Is there maybe something else, like something special that he's good at? Maybe like magic or something to that effect? Um, oh, you mean illusions? <laughs> yes, that's what <laughs> yeah. I'm veering at. Yeah, it's the, that's the one. Yeah, uh, he's, uh, he kinda, he's good at creating... I, I actually didn't think this through, like how, how that would fit in. <laughs> but... he's, the ma he's a master illusionist. He's good at creating... Uh, things in your mind's eyes, things that you see but may not actually be there. I yes, suppose. deception is, is a good word. Yeah, he's very. It kind of fits in with his kind of deceptive nature, anyways. Of that, he yes. wants people to see things from his point of view. So, absolutely. Meanwhile, though, this herald is kind of taking down details of your guy, but he can't help but notice the person that you're standing in front of, your partner in crime, as it were. So, Dark, who are you playing as? All right, so my name is Ro Bartholomew. Yeah. I um, don't let my looks uh, deceive you. I may be a big, I may be a big, buff, tall boy, <laughs> and could and look like I could snap you like a twig, because I can. Mm -hmm. But I'm, like people but like me. I'm actually, I'm actually a mage. Ah. So. Yeah, so like, uh, please don't misunderstand and, and 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 stuff. But yeah, I can do magic. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty bro. cool. And yeah, 
yeah, yeah. What's your backstory? All right, all right. So get this right. All right. So, I was born in what used to be like a noble family of mages, right? Sure. But you know, in Trottle era, ma- magic was outlawed for a, for like years. Yeah. For a f- for a few years, there was some kerfuffle with a wizard that tried to assassinate the king or s- or some shit. Yeah. And and uh, magic was outlawed for a while, so. I am self-trained in magic. I I learned in secret uh, while working as a builder, which is how I got so big and strong. Uh, so, yeah, I my 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 family's uh, doing good now that magic is back and uh, not illegal anymore. Of course. Yeah, and. Uh, I I got both muscles and magic to show for it, baby. You if you were a um if you were a board game, you would be muscles and magic rather than Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got muscles quite the arsenal. Awesome so, yeah. <laughs> that's so, that's so good. That's a, that, that's a yeah that that would be a fun picture. To, muscles plus magic. Um, muscles and magic. <laughs> but what would you say? And I think you kind of touched upon this in your skills is obviously muscles and magic and. What would you say his expertise is, though? Like, something that, much like Sapiro has his illusions, something that separates uh, Buff Army from the rest. All right, so my skill is... My expertise skill is teamwork. Teamwork. It is uh, something of my own making. Should I explain? Go ahead. Let's how, I thought, how I thought it works. Explain it to the audience uh, and myself. All right. All right, so... If you remember in the previous quest and show episode that was in, yes. uh, I had I had the skill luck yes. question mark, which on the flip of a coin meant that uh, I would either get plus one or minus one. So I th- I thought that was fun. And I'm going for something kind of similar. Right. Teamwork means that I'm that I'm really good at working with other people on something okay so if i am working with someone to achieve the same goal or me and zapporo roll for the same thing mm-hmm. like roll for the same action then that role is enhanced yes uh how exactly i'll leave it to james but like maybe it's a plus one should they yeah. also should they also explain or a plus mine? Two? i don't know yeah um go ahead all right, so my special skill is instructing, and yes. uh, that means it's kind of similar to to what Doc said, but also the exact opposite. <laughs> so uh, it's mm. when I say that, like when I propose a plan on what to do, especially in combat. So if say um, I tell Doc to attack uh, monster number one, and he he does so, uh, mm-hmm. then we both get plus one our next attack but yeah. if i say something and he doesn't agree um then we get we get all no I, we then all i get that. minus one i think because it's it like hurts my uh your ego yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> of course so if people okay. don't do as i as i say i get minus one i get mad <laughs> you get bad stuff happens i understand yeah uh, and finally, uh, Ro, what is in your loadout? What do you what what can't you leave the house without? All right, so I have um, uh, I have a fair bit. You know, my family is a noble um, clan of mages, of course. So I have uh, so I have a, f- a fair bit of cat, a fair bit of fabulous riches, fabulous riches, and of course, and of course, I have with me my gnarly spell book. Excellent. Which uh, has the incantations that I specifically came up with for my spells. Of course. That's pretty cool. And this Herald is, like, scribbling down as much of this information as possible. Because, you know, people like this, they're worth talking about in the newspapers and stuff like that. And what I will say about your two characters is, is within certain Trottolera circles, you are minor celebrities perhaps you want to be even larger celebrities than that but due to some of your radical ideas whether it's about magic or beating people in debates 
you've kind of carved a bit of a name for yourself, especially on, um, you know, there's certain places in town where, you know, in most of Trotlera there's a lot of discussions and a lot of, like, thinking, but it's all very kind of sanitized. But you guys, you're really challenging the status quo. In fact, I could say that you're like the intellectual heavyweights of the dark billboard. As in the billboard that most people don't go to and they don't want to see that information on it. So you're really kind of... You're really up and coming in, you know, the world of big thought, especially. Yes, that is very accurate. But what I was... By the way, can I yes. can I, can I, I ask something? What's Zolti's loadout? I think we... Oh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, we, did, we did gloss over it a little bit. But yeah, Zolti, you did mention he had body armor. But what's um, something else that is um, here can't live the house? I have one special item that only And I, I think this is important to what I'm saying. Yeah, so go ahead. Yeah. Uh, this is, it's a book called uh, Zapiro Manifesto, and it's technically an autobiography <laughs> of my character, but he doesn't want to say that it is, in fact, one. Uh, so he, he, he says that it's like a, an ancient book, uh, with, uh, the whole, fa whole family, uh, but it, it, mm. it really isn't. Of course. Well, that... And that's kind of, as you're at this event, you're kind of going up to people and you're almost like, show you're not handing out copies because you only have the one on you, but you're kind of showing your copy to people and telling them that they need to go to the local bookshop and buy it because it is full yeah, of yeah, yeah, exactly. big ideas. What I will say about this event, though, is that this is a perfect opportunity to try and schmooze people and kind of raise your profile. But there is a small problem, or maybe a big problem with this event, is that... Your intellectual rival is also at this event. Oh no! A person uh, who uh, what? Or uh, what? Your intellectual rival, um, somebody that oh, your okay. that your the two of you oppose on. Kind of in the in, in the battlefield of ideas, you stand at opposite yes. ends. <laughs> uh, and this person, their name is Pratt Hemlock. Not King Pratt Hemlock, <laughs> Professor Pratt Sorry. Hemlock, Almost. who, as of course, as we all know, everybody who's been listening week by week, I didn't just invent this character on the spot, he is, of course, the great uncle of King Pratt, who's getting married. He is who Pratt is named after. And, of course, when it was his time for the throne, unfortunately, it was given over to his brother, who is the father of Brennan Hemlock, who, of course, is the father of Pratt Hemlock. But Brennan was so respects his uncle that he named his son after him. But in all this time, Pratt Hemlock, we'll call him Professor Pratt to kind of make it easier to designate. And Professor Pratt has kind of carved himself as a niche of a heavyweight intellectual. Not only is he, you know, very open-minded about a lot of different subject matters, but um, he's also something of a quite a classy magician and kind of magic historian. But obviously his ideas kind of stand at opposite ends of yours, and because obviously of his royal connection, he has a bit of a higher profile than both of you. And of course, as you're at this event, you do see him going around and hobnobbing with people. So what yeah, I will basically... Such a show off. He really we hate, is. We hate uh, all the Pratts around here. You do. Yeah, don't you can't. Don't respect them at all. You don't. You don't. Re even though you were invited to Prince Pratt, uh, sorry, to King Pratt's wedding, and you know he was having to invite you, you still have absolutely zero <laughs> respect for him. <laughs> and even though we came, <laughs> yeah, even though you came to the event. So what I will ask is this: then, of you two, how do you want to? What do you want to... You, you basically... You have the event of the year to do as you please. So what would you like... What, what would you like to do? What is your game plan, essentially? Could, uh, I have an idea. Go for it. So... Uh, let's... Let, uh, sure. Sure. Let's hear it. What? Let's hear it. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, so my plan is to eventually, uh, in, the, in the middle of uh, the night, get, get drunk... And get some courage to to speak to Pratt Hemlock personally, and challenge him to some kind of public kind of uh, battle, but not with not with weapons and armor, of course, but uh, like some kind yeah. of a 
Poetry <laughs> slam. Uh, slam poetry. Something. Zap- I don't know. Something I'm good Zap- at. Zapporo. Yo, Z- Zapporo. Zapporo. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> like, you've avoided all... You've avoided debating him for, like, months. Oh, no. I think this is my time. Uh, I think this is the perfect timing. It like, is? This is? This is my... my but... This is Hemlock has been trying to debate you for months, and you and you just and you what? you found every no excuse way. No, not he didn't. to. No, it's he didn't. True. No, it's true oh. actually because Pratt, um, Professor Pratt has actually tried to invite you to his stream a couple of times, and by his stream, I obviously mean he yeah. lives in a lovely little cottage by a stream, and yeah, he wants I, to invite I know, I know. you over to have a nice swim with him and debate him. But you've just always. I don't know. He's getting the he's getting the feeling that you maybe you're a bit of a wuss. That you don't, yes, that yes, you yes. Don't, you don't feel confident enough in your ideas. And, and I know that. And I know that exactly, but I'm trying to deny it. Oh, of course. <laughs> but, but, Pratt, but I think Pratt is... Be in character, bitch! Pratt is starting to see through your <laughs> denial, I think. Oh, uh, d- d- Dark Seas? Uh, okay, so uh, what do you, what do you um, propose? What's your plan, Dark? I mean, I mean, Z- Zapper, I mean, if you want to do it, go for it. I mean, I think, I think you should do it. Okay, well, let's do it. I have nothing to, nothing to lose, you know. You have nothing to lose, and I will say this because alcohol has been flowing in this event pretty much since it started early in the morning. There apparently the the ceremony itself will be happening in perhaps an hour's time, but um, really, this is the chance to get mingling and really to you know go against people. So mm. you know, you're so- was your lobster really? So how do you how do you, how do you want to approach this? Well, what Zapparo. kind of guy is is this Pratt Hemlock? So Professor Pratt Hemlock, much like his uh, grand nephew, uh, he is a beast person, but specifically he's uh, quote unquote one of the forest folk. He is uh, got long old antlers. He's got hooven feet. He's got the face a little bit like a deer, and much like his. Grand nephew, he is quite a large person, but over the decades, he's as he's grown older and more wizened, has lost quite a lot of that weight. But he's kind of kept that, still that towering size to him. He's got a bit of a hunch to him, kind of has started to use a cane to kind of prop himself up. But he kind of has the sort of a stature of a grand elder statesman to him, including in his nice little beard and his kind of curly hair that he has, and he's he's. Oh, I mean, it's a fancy event, so he is wearing a fanciful tunic, as is to be expected of his kind. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Can you can you describe the the place that we find ourselves in? A little, Absolutely. Like... You are inside of a grand gazebo. Um. It is actually within. They wanted to do a special event for this. They didn't just want to. They didn't want to do it in a church because obviously that has different religious connotations to it. They wanted a traditional forest folk wedding, which means they're having it in the centre of town within a big white tent. And inside of this tent, it is there is a main stage where the marriage will take place, but mostly it's just kind of a big open area where people are... There's a bar which people are going to to order drinks, uh, and people are just... It's, it's like a part... It's like a it's like a James Bond-style fancy party inside here. Okay, okay. Uh, Unrelated. Yes. But I love the word gazebo. Oh yeah. It's gazebo's a fantastic word. Um so I think uh, is is a uh, is Hemlock at the bar. Oh, where is he? Oh, do you want to try and get Hemlock on his own? Hemlock at the moment is currently speaking to a group of giggling and very impressed looking half elf girls. Oh shit! I, that, Much- that, this, is, this is the perfect timing. Just the- oh, <laughs> Zapporo! Zapporo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Zapporo! What's, What's up? Yeah, you you want me to want me to come with you? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is the plan. I will climb on a table, and shout at him something something that will hurt him and his pride, and something <laughs> that will make those girls <laughs> turn away from him, um, and then I'm gonna jump on your back. And they're just gonna charge at him. Are you gonna debate <laughs> okay. him now? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, wait. I thought I thought you wanted to debate him. Yeah, yeah. We we we're gonna debate him. Yeah, sure. Uh, have you thought of a, After, of a counter argument? A, have you thought of a counter argument against his magic hair for all proposal? Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> First, let's just let's just bonk him in the head. Uh, what? Yeah, we'll we'll debate him afterwards. That's cool. Uh, that can wait, you know. 
Wait, you want to debate him or bonk him? Um. Uh, yeah, I will. I will. Him. I will say. Um, this event is quite well guarded. Um. Yeah. I'm not. I don't mean do, like. Uh, do, I'm not gonna is, kill him. Of course. <laughs> no. Uh, is, is, no. Dude. Dude. No. No violence, dude. No violence. It's bad. Violence no is violence, bad. man. But violence this is, is your a thing. This is a debate. Okay, I think this is the point where I'm going to use persuasion on Doc. <laughs> you want to you wanna try and... Okay, first roll of the game, baby. Right. Uh, Doc... It, Wait, do, so, do, do I also roll to not get persuaded? If you want to do it that way, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> okay, so whoever yeah, rolls do, higher... Yeah let's, yeah, let's do it this way. Whoever rolls the highest number. There we go. But, okay. but wait, 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 I have wait, a, wait, wait. The, the persuasion is, is my skill. There's something oh, yeah, good okay. there. So here's the thing. Um, we will add plus one onto your role, Zolti. You okay. still need to beat him in order to uh, okay. convince him. All right. So ah. just once or twice? Uh, roll what? 2d6. Zapro, you're going to get us killed, dude. This is, the, this is our chance to become famous and you're going to f- blow it. Okay, this is six. Uh, I, I rolled six with a plus one. So, it's so five you, plus one. I rolled a, I rolled an eight. Ah, so, shit. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, it's a three um, and a five. Zephyro, you got a seven, and Ro, you got an eight. So, Ro, you are <laughs> not interested in this plan. All right. So, dude, uh, this is what I do. You're a debater. This is what I do. Uh, after like a short talk, uh, it's it's finally clear that Doug doesn't want to do it. Uh, Ro, sorry, look, Ro doesn't want to do it. Zephyro. And uh, Zephyro. Zephyro, look, I'll 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 uh. You, you go there, you talk to him, there are some girls too, you can impress him. You can impress him, I'll be with you, I'll look all, I'll look all menacing and like um, your bodyguard. Yeah, yeah okay, okay, that's a good idea actually, yeah. Be yeah. my bodyguard. Uh, yeah. As, as you are, because yeah. you, are, you are my bodyguard, right? Look, uh, uh, I'll, no, I mean, look, I'm good at role playing, okay, so we'll do it. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> uh, so we just go yeah. in there and talk to a bunch of girls and maybe to more than... Uh, then Hemlock. Wait, do you want to talk to the girls or to Hemlock? Um, first let's let's uh, let's talk to the girls. Yeah. You want to try? Okay. What? What? I'm just gonna okay. try and and. Uh, let's go, baby. Let's I'm go. Just gonna, baby. You're gonna I'm just. You're gonna hit on. You're gonna hit on. You're gonna hit on women, Zulti. Uh, Zapro is awesome. Uh, just. Let's I'm go. gonna try to lure the women away from Hemlock, and uh, in my direction. Okay. The two of you head over then in Hemlock's direction as he's kind of leaning against the table and doing the kind of like mature um, university professor thing while these girls are giggling. Uh, oh and then God. the two of you kind of enter the situation. Now, you want to try and Zap- get these you want to try and get these girls' attention away from him, correct? Yeah. Zapro, Zapro, what what do what do elf girls like? Um they like they like yeah. that. Uh, I do. Have I you do. read? Have you read something about that? Um, they. You can use your illusions. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay, uh, actually, I I don't know anything there. Can't think of anything that elf girls <laughs> could like. You can do... you can make something up. Um. All right. Maybe they're like. Um. Um. Maybe they like short men. <laughs> Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Wait, do do they like short men? Uh, You're lucky, dude. Yeah. You don't even need your illusions for this. <laughs> yeah, no, you can. Ju- you don't even need to yeah. need that at all. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, go for it. Go for it. Th- right, at least that's, what, that's what I heard. You They'll know? think you're adorable. Th- that's that's what the book said that I read, and they were expensive. Well, so you, well, you can trust you can trust books. Yeah, yeah. Every every time. All right, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Zafiro, roll 2d6 plus persuasion, and are you going to try and help him, Ro? Uh, I am going to be with him and pretending to be his bodyguard. His his bodyguard, like he's uh, this super important person. His super important person. But wait, okay. you said that I'm a celebrity too, so maybe that wouldn't work. That's true. You do also have a celebrity status as well. If you want to try and help him out with pulling the gills off of Pratt, then I can let you roll if he gets a bad roll. But if you're just there to kind of like 
let let him do support. And if we want the funnier result of him potentially failing this, um, then obviously don't. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. I'll just Zapro, you got this, dude. I'll leave it to you. Okay, I rolled six plus one. Six plus one. So that is that is a seven again, then. So make yeah. you play. What do you say to these girls to get their attention? Um, I'll just say. Uh, hey, baby. Uh, let, 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 <laughs> let, I just don't wanna. I really don't wanna sound like douchey, but that's my character, right? So I guess that's okay. That's the character you're playing, right. dude. Role welcome play, to, baby. Welcome to Question <laughs> Show. We're playing characters. You can play a villain. A lot of people have played villains on this show. It's fine. All right. We're not, uh, we I'll won't just, judge you. I'll just uh, say, hey, girls. Ever had one of these? And then I grab a snack from my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's it it's, it smells like dog food. Can you please specify the snack? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it looks like it looks like wood, and smells like dog a soggy food. Soggy donut. I pull out a soggy donut from my pocket. <laughs> I pull out I pull out a chocolate bar that's melted in my back pocket, so the packaging has gone soft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you exactly. pull, oh my god you pull out a droid there's an, uh, okay like, it's a, it's a droid. there's nothing funnier there's nothing funnier to me than pocketing <laughs> snacks yeah. pocket yeah. snacks is a funny thing yeah <laughs> you pull out nature mix from your back pocket it's got nuts and berries and dried twigs and stuff <laughs> One okay. of the girls is slightly impressed by what you've done, but because you rolled a seven, you have unfortunately raised the attention of okay. Professor Pratt. Okay, then uh, plan B, plan B. Uh, I, I raise my Zapiro manifesto Yes. in the air and say, if you ever want to become smart, something, something <laughs> like me, uh, <laughs> you, you have to read one of these. And just hand it to one of them and say, "Be careful! Don't don't rip it apart. It's, it plays a big role in my life, and it's an important thing to me. Uh, it's very valuable. <laughs> Take good care of it. But you can read the first page. Just gonna give it to her? Well, I have my eyes on her. Okay. Oh wow. Okay." Road 2d6, plus one for Persuasion, <laughs> plus one for the Zapiro Manifesto. Oh, shit. Uh, this is not looking good, James. This is not looking good. This <laughs> is, uh, what? Three? I, I rolled three. Oh, so you got a five. Wait, oh, that did, is... did, you re- did you really roll a one and two? Yes. Uh, oh, my but God. But get this, get this. The Zapiro Manifesto works worse than some... <laughs> Fucking nature snacks, <laughs> rather than berries and nuts from your back that pocket. Is, which are that warm. is so. That is so funny. <laughs> the girl just kind of pulls a bit of a face as you pull out a book, which I imagine has your face on it, and you're doing the exact same face that's on the book as you're kind of holding it in your hands. And someone please draw that. She begins to like giggle, and then old Professor Pratt just kind of looks at you and he goes. Oh, look what we got here. A couple of guys who think they're intellectual heavyweights trying to muscle in on my business. Oh, you think this is funny? You think I do. You, you think uh, I want to do this? Yeah, you're taking I... away all the elf girls, man. What, what's this shit? Like, come on. Merely, these girls had a lot of interest in what I was talking about. Oh, come they're, on. They're they just want your money. Oh, they want my mind. They think I'm an interesting guy. But why would you, why would they even think that, man? Like, come, just think about it for a second. You, a wise man. Like, what's uh, say 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 a smart thing. Can't even think of <laughs> one. Wanna, right? I'm going to intervene. Oh, okay. What are you intervening with? Uh, b- because knowing knowing Zapporo, um, he doesn't exactly make the best arguments. <laughs> when losing, uh, it's just the alcohol, especially, man. especially when losing his composure. So I'm gonna, I'm going to approach, and uh, and try talking to the girls. Maybe I'll have a, a bit more success. And you want to uh, try chatting to the girls, do you? Uh, ch- well. 
I want to uh, sort of restore the... Do some damage control. Okay. <laughs> basically. And uh, then tr use that to then confront uh, Hemlock. Okay, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. If, if, you, if you do that, if you approach the girls, then I'll go just... And now you too? What's this, a conspiracy? <laughs> oh, do you want to try and intervene in what he's doing? Um, I'll just... Uh, uh, I, I think no, I'll stay at what? Hemlock. I'll, I'll just... Okay, okay. You want to yeah, yeah. stick with Hemlock then, do you? Yeah. Um, in that case, roll, roll yeah. 2d6 flat. Uh, me? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, baby. Big numbers. Big numbers. Eh! That's a five and a five. That's a ten. That's a big ten. Okay. Pratt Hemlock is just kind of looking at these girls and he says, He wants me to say something intelligent, does he? Well, all right, let me try this one on for size because, you know, a lot of men these days, they feel like they have to, you know, be hunt together types. They gotta, you know, be strong and smart and all that sort of stuff. And I look at Sapiro here and... Maybe it's because of his height advantage that perhaps he feels like, you know, he's a little bit overwhelmed by the likes of me, huh? But as he says that, so, Bartholomew, you enter the picture and, oh, these girls just kind of look over you. You're big old. I mean, I don't know what you dress like. I mean, I just assume you look like Hercules or something, but with a bald head. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> You're just a big glistening tan colored guy. <laughs> oh, and those oh those elven girls, they're looking at you and they're cooing and like ooh and they're, and they're all kind of swarming around you now. Uh uh Pratt looks at you again, Sapira, and he goes Well look at that, girls, they find more interesting and brawn over brains. I feel like men like us are at risk of losing our women to people like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll say it. Yeah, of course, of course they want, want uh, him because look at yourself. Like you don't even look like a man. You have uh, tusks growing oh. out of your oh. head. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh. Z uh, Z Z dude, you're saying the quiet part loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh sorry girl girls sorry sorry about my friend here uh, he's a uh, he's a bit uh uh in distress uh do you want that book or did, did he force the book on you do should i take it back no i think i already took it i back. ask i think oh I yeah you got oh, okay, okay you got the book back yeah, yeah i wouldn't you, leave the okay book. Just that. Okay, yeah. You have um, you have the book on like elastic, uh, so it just always comes back to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, shit. Uh, this is too funny. Uh, um, girl, um, if I may, if I may ask, uh, if I may ask, ladies, uh, what uh, idea, what ideology of Professor Hemlock do you find so interesting? They all just kind of have very and blank looking expressions. <laughs> and then they look back over at Pratt and he just kind of goes, Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty radical thinker in my field. Like, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of philosophers nowadays, they feel like they're being hung up on certain social justices. But not me. I, uh, I go beyond that. I, I like to see the world in, you know, in a larger picture. Uh, yeah, you know, I've heard about your... I've heard about your gender studies and stuff, but get this, there are only two genders, change my mind. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Zapiro, roll 2d6 to defend yourself from your mind being changed. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, 10. I rolled 10. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Pratt tries to hit you. Of with the course, hulk. of course, on the mind being changed, the, uh, he rolls high. Yeah, you're, very close mind. Your <laughs> your like this is like you're wearing body armor, but your mind is like covered in a layer of like bulletproof. <laughs> we armor. couldn't have written this more perfectly. Yeah, this well, is I'm, exactly. This Pratt is kind of going on, and he's talking about you know, there's been gender roles over all this time that you know certain people fit into, and you know that. Um, yeah, it's just going completely over you. You're not. Um, yeah, you're not feeling it. You're completely. He has not changed your mind. Yeah, and I'm I'm just like making a stupid face and uh, make fart noises with my mouth. 
<laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't make fart noises during our debate, sir. Well, very, un- well, very unprofessional wait. of you. You're like one of those uncloof leftists. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Uh, um, um, uh, uh, professor, professor, if I may, um, you have wanted to debate, uh, to debate uh, Zapper over here here's for your chance. a while now, and and. Uh, Clearly, he uh, is very enthusiastic right now to do it. Uh, I would suggest you uh, schedule an event for to 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 do the debate. Yeah, yes, yeah, I scheduling. Can, I, uh, scheduling. I can. Good, yeah. I can. Uh, I can uh, uh, monitor at what. Uh, what's the, <laughs> you can adjudicate. What's the? You can like adjudicate. Yeah. It, like judge it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's yeah. just kind of pulling on his beard here and he's like listen guys all right today is my grand he's my grand nephew all right it's his wedding and i don't want to get into involved in any debates today of all things i wouldn't want to embarrass the poor lad you know especially what's happened with him the past couple of months but i've been saying for a long time my stream is open you can always come over i'll make you some nice mushroom tea and we'll debate until the sun comes up all right but like yeah. like I said, let's you know we'll figure that out another time. All right. All right. Zapper, right. come on. Th- come I on. think that's a I, defeat. I, I, I go. That... I nudge. I nudge. I nudge to Zapparo. Come on, dude. All right. So yeah. be the bigger man here. He he just so, he just listen, accepted listen, his his. Uh... Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So yeah. Retreat so for I now. won, right? I won. Retreat for now. This is my victory. <laughs> I <laughs> won. Sure. Sure. Good day sure. for me. Okay. Sure. Good, we sure. can go. You have you got a good day to good day today, Zapro. Good day. Yeah. So listen, listen. We can go to Hemlock Stream. I say we take it. I say we do it. And we can and we can finally this is our chance to make it big, dude. We can we can finally get our ideas out there. Go beyond the dark billboard. <laughs> the intellectual dark billboard. Finally. And go beyond the intellectual dark billboard. Our ideas will go huge. It will be, it will be huge. Everyone will thi- will listen to to uh to Row and Zapparo just talking. Well, there it's 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 uh, Zapparo be... first and then Row. Yeah, it's the other way around. You could call it. You could combine Zapparo. it and call yeah. it. Yeah. You could call it. Z- yeah. Okay. You could sure. call it Zapparo. Zap- Z- oh, yeah, uh, that's a good. That's a good name. That's a good Zapparo. Bro, uh, uh, listen. All right. This is our chance. Okay. All right. You get. You get me. I mean. All right. I think. I feel like right. I. I should. Uh, so, I feel like I should have been the person that to come up with this plan. But okay. Listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. Uh. What what we need to figure out is how to do we broadcast the debate that debate to everyone. <laughs> you need some kind of technology to do so. Some is ki- there is there some kind of of, of enhance of audio enhancing magic I can use? Uh, I mean, oh, Professor Pratt does. Um, he has mastered the technology of um. You know when you put a conch shell up to your ear and you hear the ocean? Well, he's been able to tap into yeah. that, and you know he's been able to broadcast his ideas all across the kingdom as a result through his through his streams through his through the through streams. His streams. <laughs> exactly, it goes down the streams and it reaches um, and it reaches a wider audience. Exactly, that's that is that a badass idea. Yeah. You need to find a way to tap into that, but unfortunately for you two, you're gonna have to wait for a little bit because. The ceremony has begun. The wedding of the year is finally kicking into gear. You're being asked to go to your Zap- seats, do you? Mm. Zapro, Zapro. Okay, let's go. Yeah, as- Good job, dude. You you won today. Uh, we got we scored, we scored a big chance. Let's just. Uh, what do you want to do? I mean, uh, we can we can certainly try and listen to these fools. So yeah, let's sit down. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, give it yeah. a go. Yeah, <laughs> these. Idiots. Yeah, let's let's do let's do some let's do some scouting. Let's gotta gotta we gotta learn stuff to use against them. 
So are you going to, are you going to be in the, do you want to sit with everybody else or do you want to go to do something else? Yeah, let's just sit down. That's for, for, you want to, you want to have a sit down. Yeah. That's yeah. Fine. You, you guys, you've been on your feet for a while, you know, you want to yeah, have a yeah. nice bit of a relax. Yeah. So I'm going to go yeah, sit just down. just going to have another uh, drink. Another ma- Ro will, something. Ro will stand out like a, like a sore thumb. <laughs> you say that, but um, you two get some seats sort of towards the back and unfortunately for you. Professor Pratt's in front of you, and despite the fact that he is an older man, he is quite tall, and he does have big horns in the way of uh, a good view. Uh, all right. Uh, so, so he sees us. Oh. Um, no, he's got his no, back to a... you. Okay, okay. And uh, the serum. Um, oh, sorry, so that means he yeah. does he sit directly in front of us? Yes. Oh, okay. We can kind of. In front of Ro or Zapparo? I was saying in front of... I was saying in front of Zapparo, because that's funny. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, we, we can prank him. We can pull a prank. If you want to. Uh, just like... Uh, Z- Zapparo, what are you doing? Maybe just he- wait for when he wants to stand up and sit down again and pull the chair. So he falls. Uh. So he falls down. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you were gonna. You were gonna try not some. I don't have good oh. ideas. Oh yeah, I, you have. You have been drinking hardcore since you've gone into this wedding. I don't. I don't think he's gonna fall for it. He might. Um. It's worth, it's worth all, a right, shot. all right. Uh. Sh- uh sure. Um. Okay. So uh, I don't know. Maybe. Do something like well. Just... The ceremony is going on. Yeah. So well, what's happening in the ceremony? Just t- tell us about the ceremony. So uh, the ceremony begins, and before anything can really start, a elf walks into the middle of the aisle and throws his helmet onto the floor, and he shouts at the top of his lungs, "Stop this wedding right now!" Oh wow. Um, I, I stand up and cheer. Like, right, that's that's right. Let's stop this wedding. <laughs> okay. Um, an interlo- <laughs> um, one of the guards on the stage um, walks over and says, "Interloper, stop him! Not at you, but at the um, the dw- the, the uh, elf that just walked forward." Oh, it, it, how does he? Zeppero, I know he... you're excited. I I know you're very excited, but that's a literal terrorist, dude. <laughs> how, how does the? <laughs> Don't side with him. <laughs> Wait, how, how does the elf look like? like what does what does? Um, the elf is tall and pale and has um, unnaturally curly hair for um, somebody of their species. Um, does have kind eyes to him, though. But he points over at another group of elves that are on... So you're sitting in the Pratt side of the um, aisle, while mm-hmm. this is over at the Orc side of the aisle, and he says... The doors do not approve of this wedding. The doors... Uh, Zephyro, do you want to, um, because you know, actually both of you know nobility, don't you? Yes. Would either of you like to, um, maybe roll 2d6 and I'll give you a plus one to, um, see if you can figure out what that means? Okay. Fry, you haven't rolled much. Do you want to have a go? Uh, uh, what's this roll, what's this roll for again? both of us? Just the one of us? Uh. Actually, if both of you want to have a go, that's fine, and, um, I'll just... What's this, what... What's this roll for again? Um, to figure out who the doors are. Okay. Uh, I rolled six. Yeah, six, so you don't. Uh, that's an eight. That's an eight. So, you've heard the name of the doors before, and you know that they are a quite a noble elven family. Um, interestingly enough, the reason that you know them is that they do quite a lot of business with the orcs in Trotlera. But funnily enough, the moment that this guy with curly hair says that oh, the doors are trying to stop the wedding, the orcs all kind of stand up and they're all throwing threats at the um, at the oldest member of the door family saying that he's trying to stop this wedding to get out of a business deal. This has caused that side of the aisle to now break into a pun shop. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, so, um, I, oh, and I, I will say that I will say, oh, sorry, go ahead. I feel uncomfortable here. Just want to stand up and uh, do something. 
funnily enough, as you say that, um, Pr Professor Pratt is also startled, and he stands up, leaving that chair <laughs> to be pulled out. Um, is he? Does it look like he's going to sit down soon? He looks like he's standing in shock, and then he's probably going to sit back down again. Oh, okay. Then I'm I'm just going to pull the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Roll. Uh, roll two d six, and I'll give you a plus. I'll give you a plus two on this because this is a funny idea. Okay, uh, I rolled an eight. But we got that up to a ten, so that was pretty good. Pre I, I, I would say that's a victorious. I would uh, say that's action. pretty victorious as well. Yeah. Um, Pratt stands up in shock, kind of like patting out himself, and as he goes to sit down again, he falls back and topples. Fortunately, because you rolled a 10, he doesn't topple into you. He just falls on his big back, and he's like, his eyes are spinning as a result. Uh, <laughs> okay, you, have just... def you have defeated him in the physical uh, marketplace of ideas. Um, I'll just, I just tell- The punching tell... ground of ideas. Mm-hmm. I just tell Ro, tickle. Ro, tickle. Tickle him. <laughs> uh, tickle him. <laughs> Zapporo, Z Z I think there's uh, there's more important things going on now, dude. Like what? I don't know what you're as talking you, about. Th this is as the you, order. As, as you say important things are happening, <laughs> somebody runs onto the stage and you have a look. It is a rat person. A rat person. Okay. Neither of you, I believe, have ever seen a rat person before. Uh, I have. No. I have seen everything. <laughs> are you so... just? Uh, are you? Are you, is your guys just pretending like? Yeah, I, I know these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> yeah. All that. <laughs> that's that's basically yeah, it. Uh, my, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, yeah, I have. I have a rat uncle who works. Who works at uh, Nintendo. The king. <laughs> <laughs> but the rat runs onto stage and he says, um, "Actually, if we're in the middle of stopping the wedding, uh, me and my clan would like to make a couple of points against Trudlerers. Uh, now we have everyone's attention." Oh, every everyone's losing their minds now. Things are going crazy. And he said, "Yeah, kind of like a what's the what's resistance? King Pratt up to? Is, is this some kind what's, of a resistance? What? What's King Pratt up to? You don't know where Pratt. You don't know where King Pratt is, nor his wife. I mean, if you want to have a look for him, you can. But um, is this some kind of resistance? Um, good question, because the um, the elf that was in the middle of the aisle points at one of the guards and says, "If you think the rat guy is weird, the guards are spider people." <laughs> what? The rat pulls the helmet off one of those guards, and yes, that is a spider person underneath. And that is bad, I guess. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, would... yeah, it's bad. I, I read it. I read. Yeah, I read about you those can. Guys. You can. You can be racist if you want. You sure. can never trust a spider person. <laughs> Yeah, you can so never trust If you want to be a racist, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, my character is super racist. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um... <laughs> Welcome to so, Question uh, Show. <laughs> so, 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 uh, the rat, the rat person on the stage is A, on a stage, and B, wants to debate, so, uh, Zapporo... You're gonna, what? You sort of, you sort of knocked, uh, you sort of knocked Hemlock unconscious. So I think you're the only one here who can do it. Oh right, I, I think. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't like spider people or rat people. Those are like animals, you know. I don't like, I don't like filthy. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to try and debate them both? <laughs> yeah, at the same. The, the, same. the guard. Uh, the guard. Why would you? Why would the guard want to debate? I'll go up and. And talk with the like I, I'm not talking to the rat person, but instead of that, I just rip out of the rip out the microphone or whatever whatever he's talking into uh, out okay. of his hands. And pretty sure there's no microphone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. But uh, but he has <laughs> got but he has got the crowd's attention, which you could steal from it's, him. It's it's a magic stone. It's a magic audio enhancing stone. It's actually a magic spell where you cup your hand and you put it over your own mouth and it amplifies your voice. Oh, yeah, okay. it's yeah, yeah. In in my gnarly spell book, that uh, 
Uh, that spell is uh, called Check This Shit Out. And if you cut <laughs> two hands together, you sound like this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, boys. Yeah. Get. So how do you want to approach this? I'll just go up on the stage. Okay. And uh, just shove the rat person aside and uh, okay. spit on the floor. And <laughs> um, and start talking. Okay. <laughs> start talking. Like, trials and error. Uh, what what did he say? What did he talk about before? Um, you know what? I, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. That's fine. You don't need say, to. Re- you don't need to remember. You just yeah. want to take attention. It's fine. Yeah. Did, um, like, like you don't need you... to know the other side's points. Yeah. No, of okay. You don't. Uh, are you? Um, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Can I just start talking, or is there something that you? Wanna... So you are going to have to get onto the stage, and you are going to have to take this guy's attention. Okay. So I'm gonna okay. Need you to roll two d six, and I will not give you anything else. All for right. That. All right. All right. Yeah, I literally. <laughs> it's a two. Oh, oh, did you? Oh, did you get snake eyes? Uh, snake eyes? Yeah, one and a one. Yeah, that snake eyes is one one. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, when you get snake eyes, really bad stuff happens on Quest and Show. So I think Bart, follow me. You're probably gonna have to go and help your buddy out in a second, which is Sapiro. As, like, a fight's breaking out I'm at sorry, this wedding... I'm sorry, I'm called Zapiro. You oh, have to sorry. pronounce it a lot. Yeah. Zapiro. Zapiro. As, Sepe- as, as Sekiro is going up to the stage... <laughs> as, Se- as Sekiro shadows die twice, goes up to the stage... Like, everyone, like everyone's kind of in a burly brawl, essentially. Like, um, some people are trying to get out of there. Like, some... On the stage, there's these guards who are all spider people, but then there's also, like, guys in their underwear who are wrestling with them, which is a bit weird, and there's the rat person as well. And you're just, like, jogging up to the stage, like you're, like, a like a chunky little boy, like, going to school. <laughs> but unfortunately, before you can get to the stage, um, somebody is thrown into you, like, during this fight. Ooh, okay. And you just kind of end up stuck in this, like combat situation mm-hmm. okay Ro, but, do you want to try and wear, help you oh, I, i'm wearing a body armor you are but you're not going to take harm yet okay but oh Ro, is there anything you want to do to maybe so help him out will is zapporo going to be thrown into combat if you don't get involved uh i will get involved um and uh because Someone got thrown into someone got thrown into him is because someone threw that that person at him. Um aiming at him or not? Um no, it was just a bit of um unfortunate. Oh, Somebody got punched and co- co- and got thrown. Oh collateral into him. Cor- collateral damage. Alright, so I go I go I go to check on the situation. Oh, but and you don't know that. You you can just think that it was uh intentional yeah 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 i'm just i'm just i'm just gonna go and get get that guy off you okay okay yeah too nice Roll 2d6 plus brawn and i'll give you another plus one for teamwork to make the dream work Ooh. yeah eh that's a nine that's a nine what with a plus two well no a plus two we get to get uh, 11 right yeah excellent so six and three um so, Safiro, before you are accident, before somebody turns around and sucker punches you, they are removed from you by Ro. And Ro, I will say, because of the 11, you pull this guy out of combat range, so you two are no longer at risk of getting hit. Okay. But that doesn't mean okay, cool. that I can't get angry at this guy. Of course not. Okay, so I would just... Okay, I'm gonna start instructing, which means uh, if Dark says what I tell him to do, then we both get plus one. Bonuses. Um, and yeah, we if can, he doesn't, we can do that. then I get minus one. Okay. Oh, okay, all right. So I'm gonna tell Dark, get his ass. Get it. <laughs> Ro, get do you want to get his ass? Um. Uh, Z- Zapporo, I think I think his ass is pretty god. I mean, he got punched Didn't in the face. Didn't you see this? He tried to kill me. 
you, wait, you mean the guy? You mean the guy who punched the other guy? Yeah, that low class, middle class, whatever guy. Uh, I think it's a spider person or something, but I, I think it's I very think it aggressive. Of, so it was one of the Marxists who don't like your um, political ideas. I think <laughs> that tried to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> so putting me in a bit of a bind. Yeah. James. <laughs> Just go get him. I, I will help go, you. Go, I'll help go, you, but go I need your heart. Wait, wait, bro. Uh, wait the, the, the guy who punched the other guy. The guy who punched the other guy who fell on you. Uh no, the guy who, who fell on me. He tried to he's kill He's already me. unconscious. Oh he's he's unconscious? Yeah. Yeah, okay, then get the other one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, it's, it's uh, this is okay, your job. This okay. is why we are working together. This is okay. Uh, why you're questioning me uh, right uh, now. All right, all right, all right. Have you read right. my book? I'll, I'll try. I'll try to get the whole place to calm down with some magic. All right. Oh, oh no, that, no, no, no. Does that sound good? I'm, I'm telling you that to specifically good? attack this this one guy. Uh, all right, all right, jeez, all right, Jesus. Okay, are you I'm gonna, gonna go attack this one guy? Uh, I can't stand. I, I, am I can't stand him. Do something I'm about going, it. Okay, okay, jeez. Uh, okay, I'm going. I'm going to vibe check him. Um, Dark. Can I ask you? So, what do you do? You want to try and avoid what Zafira is telling you to do, or are you going to go along with it? I'm going to go along with it. Okay, roll plus one for brawn, plus another plus one for, uh, well, for instruction from uh, Zephyr. Actually, uh, it's magic that I'm going to do, so it's... Oh, you're doing magic. magic? Oh, so you're not using yeah, brawn at all? Oh, well, then run plus yeah, one. Yeah, I say magic. Um, magic? So, the, yeah, uh, the way the, the... I still haven't really said... The way my gnarly spellbook works, it's because magic was outlawed in Trottle Era. For a long time. The incant... Yeah. Yeah, the incantations. Uh, I use code incantations for my spells, which are written in the gnarly spellbook. Of course. Uh, so uh, when I say vibe check, that's a fireball. Okay. <laughs> that, that, uh, so I'm going to throw a fireball so at So you're going to... So, you, so your book is being um, factored into this then, yeah? Yeah, okay, I guess. Okay, roll plus three then. <laughs> Uh, that's two fives. <laughs> so ten uh, plus well, so thirteen. Thirteen, yeah. All that's good. That's good. Um, what were you attacking this guy with? A fireball. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think you, he's you dead. Shall, you shall vibe check, and um, yeah, you emanate a, uh, a Super Mario style fireball from your <laughs> hands, and it, and it flies <laughs> forward, and um, yeah, on the result of that thirteen, that guy is um, completely set alight. Just demolated. Uh, you have co- you have caused the situation to grow <laughs> even more terrifying as a result. <laughs> this is this is going exactly as planned. Okay. This is Wait, I thought I thought a roll of twelve or more is a critical success. So it is. But what do, well, what do does it, a critical success look like in your? Because you do <laughs> you do it perfectly to some extra benefit or advantage. Well, what, so. uh, well, what benefit or advantage comes from setting somebody on fire? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It works out for me, I guess. <laughs> okay. I just find it, I just find it funny that it's like okay, just throw in a fireball at this person. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just go to row. I go to row and say, uh, say to him, "What the hell? What what did you do? I didn't tell you to do this. <laughs> this this was not what what you were told. I, I didn't say oh, to, to kill him. him. I didn't tell you. I that. didn't kill him. Oh yeah, don't don't worry because um, you got a thirteen. He's not going to die. He does actually start now running to try and like roll and put himself out. Yeah, I look. What, I didn't. Ki- I didn't kill him. He's just on fire. Look at this situation you got us into." How are we going <laughs> make, make to Look, I didn't get us into this situation. The terrorist who attacked us got us in this situation. Oh my god, bro. You're so dumb, and I always have to get your ass out of a situation like this. Let's go. Then I'll do just, it! I, I'll, uh, I just met, uh, do an illusion of some sort, uh, so that we can okay. get out of, the, of that uh, place. Sure. What kind, of, what kind of illusion do you want to um, cast? Um... 
like that there is a circle of fire around us so that nobody approaches that. Okay. Roll 2d6 plus 1 for illusions. Okay. Okay, it's 6 plus 1 is 7. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad then. Um, you do cast this illusion around yourself, which is essentially is a big ring of fire. Um, you are able to start moving out of the event, but the only thing is, is that by casting this, you have caught people's attention. Mm-hmm. And some people have connected the dots between the guy who set on fire and you guys. Oh shit, that was also a bad idea. using yeah. fire magic. Um, some of the some people who were in underpants are now starting to run in your direction to try and uh, stop you. Um, hmm. What do we do? What do you want to do? I think... Uh... Shit. Uh, how f- yeah, how Zapper, far? You said you're gonna... You're go- you said you're gonna get us out of this. How far is this guy that, that's charging at us? Um, he's closing the distance. You may be you may be able to give him the slip, but only on a very good roll. Can can I create another illusion? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, well, what's the illusion though? It's a it's a mirror that he thinks that a, another guy is charging at him at the, with the same speed. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, round. 2d6, and I would give you a plus one for illusion, but I'm going to take minus one off because you're doing an illusion currently. So okay. You're a bit like, okay. Yeah. yeah. So and flat 2d6. And if uh, uh, if it if it works out, then we we'll just go to the side so that he doesn't sure and kind of vanish you, yeah. vanish. Uh, okay. It's nine. That's a nine, then. Okay. Um, he, you do cast this illusion, then. But the only thing is, is that your fire illusion is completely dispelled from doing this. Okay. But it doesn't matter too much because that guy sees the mirror, and then he sees somebody running towards him, and basically, like a game of chicken, he ducks out of the way so he doesn't get hit by what he thinks is going to be hit by. Okay, and in that moment, we try to vanish within the the mass. Of people. Okay. Uh, roll 2d6. Uh, uh, both of you roll 2d6. Oh, is, that, is that good for you, Doug? Is that something that... Uh, well, yeah. Sorry. What did you want to... Yeah, Doug, what did you want to do? Yeah. No, it sounds good to me. All right. Okay. Both of you roll... Um, actually, Zapiro, you roll a 2d6 plus 1. Ro, you roll a 2d6 minus 1. Because he's tiny and I'm massive. Exactly. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a six. A... Yeah, that's a six too. <laughs> oh no! But wait, but you rolled a six, but you got a seven, I guess, Sephiro. Um. Well, yeah, and I. This was my idea. So well, I got a, did... I got a, I got a five, and he got a seven. Did we get an instructing bonus uh... because it was my idea? Sure. Uh, it it yeah, it was his idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll bump. Either way, though, so I bro, go, either so way, I though, go, bro, you're still... I go to six. You're yeah, still... Which you're still, still a a six. Meanwhile, what I will say is this in Zephyro. You can sneak out of this situation absolutely fine, but, Ro, you're a big guy in a fight, and that means that people are turning their attention on you. They want a piece of you. Oh, shit. Okay, about, Zephyro, um, are you going to save your best buddy? Yeah, I am. That's, the, like, the only person that listens to me, so, yeah. Wow, okay. And how are you going to do? Oh, uh, right. (laughs) (laughs) Well, um, how many people are there to catch Ro? Um, About five people have got their attention on Ro. Even Even though this wedding is starting to dispel with people, there's still a good 50 people within this, uh, gazebo. Okay, I think I'm not going to try to fight. I'm just going to stand there and uh, try to talk them out of uh, trying to hit us and tell you them that to... we are a wealthy family and they don't want to hurt us because because then they will get in trouble big time. Okay, you want right. to talk them down. That yeah. sounds pretty good. Roll 2d6 plus 1 for persuasion. Okay. Fuck. 
It's a six. Oh my god, I'm only rolling sixes right now. God. Um, but I guess you got a seven is the thing. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give you two a choice. Either his plead for sanity didn't work and they still want to fight Ro, or Zephyro has now taken their attention and they want to fight him because he's a dweeb. Okay, I think that's more funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funnier. Doug, what do you think? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think the second one is there. <laughs> sure, I guess. Sure. All right. You want it? You want Zephyro to take the challenge, do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's uh, you can fight better that way. That they're not focused on you. That's true, actually. So first thing first, Zephyro, you roll two d six. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> it's four. Oh god. What I will say is this. You are sucker punched to the stomach, and because you are a little <laughs> guy, you rock it into the air like but, a sp- like but. like a like a rocket ship. But because you are wearing body armor, exactly that that knocks it down to you only taking one harm. But what I will say is this: that was such a heavy hit that your body armor is damaged. Okay, now. okay, fair enough. Uh, so he's That's in fair. the air now. So he is now <laughs> he is now in the air like a devil may cry enemy who's being juggled. Yes. <laughs> okay. I I try to catch him. <laughs> okay. And and then and then just uh princess carry him out of there. Okay. Roll 2d6 and I'll give you a plus 1 cuz this you took you're taking the advantage with this because Zephyro took their attention. Yeah. Um okay so wait. Oh. I took one harm, right? Yes. Yeah. So that means now I get minus one to every roll. No, only if you take two harm. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's a nine. Plus oh. one's ten. I will say this. You do catch him, but you're now going to have to make another roll to get out of there. Uh, all right, I'm rolling again. And this will be flat to be six. That's another nine. That's another nine. Okay. I ro- I literally rolled the exact same thing twice. That's amazing. Well, a four and a five or something, I'm guessing. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. You catch him like Princess Daisy in your big cuddly arms, then Ro and Zephyr. You looking up at him like he's his big bo- the the light above his big bald head shining, catching all the <laughs> the edges of his silhouette. And Ro, you push your way through the crowd as Hollywood music swells in the air like uh, like a romantic save the day moment mm-hmm. as you do push through these people and out into the um out into the confused crowds outside who are who are still a little bit shell shocked from what is happening inside the tent. The thing is there are some royal guards outside, not spider people, seem to be uh, humans and wargs who are looking at you two, and they were given the description of a little dweeb in a suit and a big-ass guy who set a guy on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's too funny, man. Uh, I can't take this now, uh, anymore. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's, what are our choices? Um, I mean, it's your call. I mean, you got a couple of different ways to get. You can try and talk your way out. You can just try and run away. You could use an allude. Yeah, that will. I mean, look at your moves and think what could what could. All right, I how think you get out of this situation. I think I'll just raise the Zapiro manifesto, and say, "Do you know who? Do you even know who I am? <laughs> are, are, are they? Are they already there?" Like are they approaching us? Uh, or? Yeah, yeah, the, and the, remember the, that I'm ca- the, and remember that I'm cradling you in my arms like a big baby. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's they're standing. Is- they're standing in front of you. Yeah, these guards. So you want to try and use um, you try and you want to try and use the do you know who I am technique to um stop them? Yeah. Um, well, I think it serves the the situation well that I'm being carried. 
because that sure. means that I'm some kind of royalty. Okay. Roll 2d6, and I'll give you plus one for the manifesto and plus one for your backstory prestige. All right. Uh, it's ten. So, I guess... <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Um, the royal guards are just kind of looking at you, and, uh, yeah, they do recognize you as the son of nobility, and uh, the guy who was carrying you does look like he could knock both of them out quite easily. <laughs> the pair of them step out of the way like big doors. Yeah, and uh, I will. <laughs> I just. Uh, All right, or, or, uh, I and I and I just. I, I shout at them. <laughs> Next time, I'll speak to your manager. <laughs> <laughs> while while I run away, you just the distant. Next time, I'll speak to your manager. Next time, I'll speak to your manager. So. We have managed to uh, get out of the wedding. You have now, yeah. You have now escaped the wedding from hell with your okay. lives, pretty, pretty well. <laughs> all right, all okay, right. I'll, I'll uh, say to, I'll say to Ro, man, that party was actually fire. Let's go back. <laughs> it was actually fire, especially the bit where you set a guy alight. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Just, all right. I, I miss. Right. I miss the people. Uh... So the two of you are now out of this situation, then, and I guess. I mean, what do you want to do next? <laughs> is the thing. Uh, well, is we are going to. Well, what I imagine is going to happen is we are going to try to profit off of the aftermath and uh, do the debate with Hemlock. Oh, actually, that, that's, a, that's okay. a really good idea, since he probably yeah. has a concussion. <laughs> well, so he's not going to be as good at debating. Yeah, that's, that's a great mm. idea. Yeah, so, so because of, um, because of, the, of that event, um, a, you know, it's a thing that's going... What what will happen is what happens whenever there's a uh, whenever there's always a big event, and mm -hmm. people are going to debate over what to do about it. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this is our chance to get the dark uh, bill billboard of ideas out there. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. All right. So is um, is this dark? Uh, uh, what? How is it called? Black billboard. Well, the intellectual <laughs> dark billboard. Yeah. yeah about <laughs> okay. It. So is that a thing? Like, I don't really understand what it is. Yeah, it can be a thing. Yeah, it it's is a, a thing. thing. It's a physical. It, it, it's a thing. It's a now. physical thing. Okay, good. It's a so real thing. So you can just steal that or something. What? Can, can, Why do you want to steal it? Um, that's it's ours. Why would you steal it? Oh, that's ours. Yeah, we yeah, are put, we put, are the intellectual dark billboard. Yeah, you put your ideas up on it for all to oh, see. Oh no, I get yeah. it. Okay, okay, but but we can we can erase the ideas of others. <laughs> you want to use this situation where the <laughs> city is in like chaos to just be like, right? I'm going to destroy your <laughs> ideas. I'm going to destroy your ideas. Um, I, I just, sure, I just, I, I just that sounds do... like something. All I right. Would do. No, listen, listen. I just uh, listen. We're, we're we're gonna do the we're gonna do the debate with Hemlock because I want chaos and things that will affect the world. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if I'm if I'm debate, uh, debatable. Like if I'm ready to debate this night. Really yeah. You're not exactly. Um, Hemlock certainly isn't ready to debate this night, considering the fact that his poor grand nephews wedding has been ruined by a terrorist attack and somebody pulled his chair out and he's really hurt his back um so <laughs> all right so uh, uh <laughs> yeah yeah well we're gonna prof try to profit off the aftermath yeah i guess, I guess Excellent. That's, that's the best description that you could give but yeah. not not tonight on when uh well, because he's, you know, because Hemlock is uh, knocked out. Okay, <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, yeah, I don't know. So, what, what, what are we doing? 
this point. Well, what I'll say is this then. So, you want this thing with Hemlock to go through. Yeah. This is the thing. Okay. Roll 2d6. Okay. Uh, both of you roll 2d6. It's 8. Oh, fuck. Uh, four and, and five, do... so it's a nine. No. Oh, you got you both got a mixed success then. That okay. works out pretty well. Let me describe then what happens following this rather terrifying event, yeah. which is the fact that both of you managed to make it out of there pretty unscathed. Fortunately, quite a lot of people did. Pratt did his new. Well, they're not married yet, so she's not still quite his wife. Most of their family managed to get out of there alive, as did Professor Pratt has managed to get out of there. No problem. But some people weren't so lucky. In fact, after the event that they had found that the curly head elf who stood up and brought the wedding to a halt was actually found dead outside of the event. Whoa. Uh, and wait, what, the elf that uh, initiated the thing? I yes. thought that was a rat person. No. No. That rat person, they never found them after the fact, but the elf that started this whole chaos was actually killed by a spider person, and this is the first recorded incident of spider person on Trottlera violence, which has kind of put things at a bit of a weird place, especially with Pratt, who obviously wasn't really ready to go to war over stuff like this, but Stuff needs to be looked into. Like, there's questions surrounding, like, allegiances of certain pe- of these spiders, whether they're related to maybe a bigger party or whether there's a smaller party they are. And obviously the family of the elf, even though the elf said to go beat up my dad, they uh, want to do their own investigations as well. So things are in a bit of a tense time. Fortunately for you two, tension is where the big books are made. Mm-hmm. Very quickly, <laughs> you two managed to put together paper, managed to not a book, but basically like very almost like your own little newspaper. You managed to get it out there, and you sell what happened at this event. Tell me, what was it? What was the reason why this event happened? Okay, so what happened at this festival or whatever the the, the ha- quote unquote the wedding, wedding, the wedding, it was. yeah, exactly. Yes. Whatever happened at this wedding was following the following things. So this um, elf and rat, rat person came in and they, uh, they announced that it's now the end of the, of the wedding, which none of us understood. Right. So we stood up okay. and uh, asked them very loudly what they are on about, but they couldn't mm-hmm. really get, give us answers. And it, this whole event became very chaotic. And uh, eventually they brought some guards down. So I had to protect them with my fire circle. And they were eventually carried outside of this uh, property by guards. And we never saw them again. See, it was all just a big misunderstanding. It was an incredibly big misunderstanding. Yeah. Ridiculous one, absolutely. And quite a few people do buy into this and um, want to basically subscribe to more of your ideas. Because you seem like a guy in the know, Sapiro couple of other people not so much even the royal family may want to press a subpoena against you for saying such a thing but that's fine your family's got money you can you can take the brunt of that that's not not an issue at um, all meanwhile what, what about you ro is do you like look into the situation more or is there anything that you kind of want to like get out of it um well uh so Long as I can keep uh, doing my doing my stuff and just you know getting the ideas of the like you know I just think I think I just the think that ideas. I just think that Zapiro should be allowed to say to say <laughs> the things he wants to say and of course <laughs> and just um, Freedom you speech. know as, as is every as is everyone of course I'll talk to anyone I don't care. Oh, of course, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, um, I think it's. I think uh, as long as uh, I can keep doing that, everything's fine. 
I'm just okay. Really so you're happy just, just yeah. You're happy just let things let just things lay as they are. Let the dice yeah. roll as they may be. Just Otherwise. really looking forward to the hemlock debate. The hemlock debate, which will happen eventually, but he does need to. His back needs to be seen too, and you know. They need to reschedule the wedding for his poor, you know, grandnephew and stuff like that as well. So, it will happen. Don't don't worry about that. That will eventually be written as a heavy, an intellectual heavyweight debate for sure. But what I will say with this is that your kind of adventures have come to an end with this particular episode. So, no. What does happen next for the two of them? Um. History. So I think. What Zapira would do is uh, finding an opportunity to debate mm-hmm. how the, uh, the Hamlock person, the Hamlock guy. Of course. Uh, and uh, preferably all the Prats in, uh, in one, at, at one event. Like, all of them versus oh. Zapiro. And if that doesn't happen, then uh, he would just write a book saying that it did happen at some point in history. And he, and he and, won. And he won. <laughs> And he yeah. is the best. And uh, after that, he will just uh, settle down, maybe in a, in a small, in a small house, uh, in, mm-hmm. the, in the village or in the countryside, and write books, and sell them to all the people that are interested. And yeah, uh, he just becomes uh, an author of sorts. Fair enough. And what about you, Ro? What is written in your future? Um, Ro is, uh, well, he just what? wants to do things. Uh, <laughs> he to... just wants to do things. <laughs> well, his agenda is to spread. He's also part of the intellectual dark billboard, so he uh wants to. You know, because magic is this is this uh, cool thing, you know that he can that he can do and stuff. He wants to talk to everyone and see and and uh, listen to all sorts of uh, perspectives on the intellectual dark bill on the intellectual dark billboard and spread <laughs> those ideas. Uh, of course, he, yeah, wants, he wants yeah he wants to have influence over the the people's ideology and and uh how they how they view the world and be more open-minded of course and does he ever get back into ufc (laughs) um uh sure (laughs) (laughs) oh that's good i like to hear that i always like hearing his views about ufc stuff so that's great i do (laughs) Just I'm yeah. happy I'm happy with the influence um this episode will have on future episodes uh mm-hmm. just because of the intellectual dark billboard. Oh yeah, I am you're happy that the intellectual dark billboard is going to come is back it, up is again, it, is it, again and again. Is a thing uh, it, yeah, I want it to be a thing. I want it to be in <laughs> I want it to be all over the place. I want I want to I want to plant a flag on that moon. Yeah. I want that to be Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, aside from that productive day. <laughs> <laughs> Set a guy on fire, pulled a chair out from an old guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, free productive yeah. day. <laughs> you know, just my hands of that. <laughs> oh yeah, that so was that was that, excellent. It was, uh, yeah, it was kind of... We couldn't have written that episode better. Oh boy. Well, I will say then, now that things are at an end, how did, how did both of you find that? I just, uh, like, I, like I said, I thought it was perfect. Excellent. And what about you, Zoxy? Did you enjoy? Did Did you enjoy yourself? I did enjoy myself a lot. I think uh, I have. Good. I might have found something inside of me lurking in the shadows, you know, mm. um, that, that I have yeah. to get rid of in the future. You do. You need to you need to destroy uh, it. You need to get. You need to put Severo inside, like because a. I enjoy this way like too a, much like a, to play this character, like a Horcrux or something, and throw it into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, and and you know, obviously, all all persons and and events are fictitious. Uh, fictitious any, parody any, in Minecraft. Yeah, any yeah. any resemblance, like I'm I'm gonna do the whole Persona Five uh, opening opening thing with just. 
which is like uh, all resemblances to people re- to real people are coincidence or unintended uh okay. yeah oh, parody that's... minecraft <laughs> parody minecraft in minecraft that being said uh professor pratt does sound like jordan peterson so i'm just gonna throw that out there <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it was it, i had a great time thank you for this uh, Good. James. Well, no, well, thank you, thank you for coming on. And before we wrap things up, uh, are there any last plugs that you two want to make? I imagine some. I imagine there's something that you want to plug. I do. I want to plug um, my channel, Dark Fry. Uh, it's Absolutely. called Dark Fry because I'm Dark Fry. Uh, like I said earlier, if you like pink iridescent blobs, which you should, uh, you're gonna like. You're gonna like it. And also mm-hmm. Video Gems, which is our podcast, me and Zulti. Uh We interview people, talk to them, and uh, we have fun doing so because they're all great. Yeah. And uh, we have a good time. And you're going to have a good time listening to it because it's good. <laughs> yeah. I talk um, a lot of bullshit some... there. Exactly. Like Video Gems, number first, of course. But if you, if you like, kind of want to... Um, listen or watch my other stuff you can go to Zolty Boy on YouTube that's me or on Twitter I haven't released anything in the past 8 months but if you want to check out that other stuff as I said uh, feel free to do so <laughs> I, also I talk about commission Zolti and commission Zolti for thumbnails yeah yeah. I, I yeah. think that's something you could do but I mean I won't plug that because we are i'm gonna plug it for you <laughs> fuck you but it's just like you know we are talking <laughs> with the um uh with the emperor someone who's made a thumbnail once <laughs> yes, that's, Jay. That, that's james yeah, yeah so okay. yeah. no J- actually uh, uh, just james i want to i want to ask you a question i want to ask you a question are you happy with this episode as the season two finale yeah, no, I think um this certainly leaves uh stuff in a place where uh, things will get more chaotic for season three hell yeah so, yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna plug james uh, plug james just uh, check out james <laughs> just check and and out. hire him for thumbnails that, that he's way better than i am so <laughs> wow well thank you very much for both coming on yeah no problem yay and hopefully was... i get to hopefully you can come back again sometime in the future it's my pleasure yeah I'm looking forward to it. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, Thanks very much to those who are listening at home. Like I said, this is the season finale of uh, Quest and Show. So uh, on top of the usual stuff that I will say, I would also like to thank every single guest who has appeared on Quest and Show so far, which has included uh, Nevin Holmes as uh, Pro's Ethelina, Spicy Chicken God as Richie uh, Dolajant, Tony Facinda as Undardar Surface, Chariot Rider as Silver Sestrand, uh, Desnakera as Duncan Brewer, uh, Arcadeology Kevin as Mark Mountain, Digimats and Proper Rob as Pontus P. Pendergast and Ivan Nabrecchio, uh, Lam Hoot as Yanni DeVito. I love that so <laughs> um, much. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Msec as a uh, Pontiac Lestrade, uh, Cody as Eclipse of the Moon, and Heavy Eyed as Rylan Door, as well of course as you two, uh, Zorty Boy and Dark Fry, as uh, Zafiro and uh, Ro Bartholomew, respectively. It's it's Zafiro. Uh, if you Zafiro. would like to find out more about what I'm working on after this season of Quest and Show, you can follow me on Twitter at Hot Cider. Uh, you can also. Uh, support on Patreon, which will not only go into um, helping me out with future projects, but also with a new season of Quest and Show. And of course, once those come back, if you're a subscriber, you'll be able to listen to those far earlier than when they will go out normally. Hell yeah! But until we head back to Trottelera once again, I've been James, and I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Woo! Fry, you can say goodbye too if you want. (laughs) Goodbye. (laughs) Our time in Trottle Era isn't quite over yet. Please join us again next episode for an all-star epilogue 
to Question Show Season 2.